Hello, welcome to another video. Umut here. Today I have new products that I want to share with you from Arteza. And then uh, we are going to prepare a mixed media frame today. Uh, this is a mixed media pad which is uh, this size, uh, 11 by 14 inches. And uh, the interesting thing about this product is you can fold it into a frame and uh, make a nice mixed media project with it. So it comes uh, in this beautiful packaging uh, and uh, there are 20 of these uh, which are easy to separate and use. Now I will try to show you how easy it is uh, to uh, fold it into a frame and then uh, you have a nice thing to work on and uh, have some decoration for your house or even uh, make a gift of it. I think it's a very good idea to gift it to friends and family. Uh, preparing something that you made by yourself uh, with these uh, beautiful frames. Instructions on the packaging is uh, very clear and uh, very easy to follow. If I can do it, everybody can do it because I'm not so good at handiwork to be honest. Uh, but I'm just following the lines and following the pictures shown on the packaging. And it's really intuitive and uh, easy. You wouldn't need any tools uh, to make this uh, frame, uh, just your hands uh, are enough. So I'm just folding where the uh, lines are and trying to make it into a frame. Uh, it took only a couple of minutes, uh, even less probably. There are these little uh, pieces here that you need to remove uh, to push these uh, two edges into these uh, gaps. Uh, and then you will have your uh, frame uh, ready. This pad uh, comes in different sizes by the way. So check out uh, the links that I will put down below to find the one that suits your taste and uh, what you would like to do with it. And as usual I will uh, leave down below my uh, code uh, to give you a discount uh, when you purchase anything. Not only this uh, frame but anything from Arteza's website. So you will find all the links down below at the description area. I think I have my frame now uh, which is nice. I think it's also a good alternative for canvases and other things that we use uh, for more dimensional uh, projects. Uh, also I have new uh, colors uh, of my favorite metallic uh, acrylic paints. Uh, these are so beautiful. This is like a coral color, more pinks, uh, more orange and this beautiful pastel green. And I already uh, swatched uh, the colors uh, that I got new. Magenta, pink tulip, uh, papaya orange, pistachio green and pink. So this is all my uh, collection now. And for this uh, uh, project I, I was uh, debating between using greens or a, a blue uh, color scheme and I think uh, this time blue will win and uh, I will go for a blue project. Before I start I'm going to uh, gesso my surface uh, because I think uh, it will be it will look more professional and uh, I will be able to play uh, with my paints more freely uh, and I'm going to gesso the edges as well. Uh, let's pretend this is a gift so uh, be as neat as possible and make a nice frame with all the edges painted as well. So I show you how this how nice uh, this can be. Uh, I'm going to use glacier blue, uh, sage green and uh, turquoise uh, as uh, three colors. You see them and uh, you see the names on the screen as well. Sage green is a, a color that has blue undertone so it goes very well with uh, blue colors. And it's a color that I love a lot. Uh, I'm just uh, using these three colors. I put them directly on my uh, frame. And uh, just using a brush uh, to lightly spread it uh, over the uh, frame, over my surface. And I'm uh, stippling a little bit as well to give some texture. I'm also using uh, water, spraying water um, to just... Uh, spread the paint uh, more easier to help me to move it because this is heavy body acrylic. I like to work on layers so I'm going to uh, put the same colors again uh, to uh, have another layer of paint. And before I started painting I dried my uh, gesso by the way. 
you need to dry it uh, before starting uh, painting and uh, I was a little bit heavy with paint because uh, I wanted to have a textured uh, surface I'm using the packaging that I uh, took from the paper pad and I am just uh, covering all this paint while it's wet uh, on my surface and when I lift it as you see I have this beautiful texture without any effort and I dried it after I dried it I wanted to darken one edge uh, making a gradient uh, look uh, and uh, I'm just uh, spraying water making it drip through the other part of the frame uh, and uh, having uh, just one side a little bit darker this side will be the side that I will use I will uh, decorate uh, with uh, flowers so I want it uh, to be a little bit darker to create a nice contrast with my flowers as you see I'm not so uh, you know heavy with my brush uh, so that I can have a darker look and I'm just going to dry it and show you how beautiful the shine that I have on my uh, frame it's so beautiful so textured and uh, there are white areas you can see the different colors and the shine is just amazing uh, I love this paint so much the colors that they selected are just amazing uh, so I use them again and again and before I finish with my background I wanted to bring one more color uh, which is sky blue a color that I love as well uh, it's so beautiful um, I'm sure I'm going to use it again uh, in another project uh, and uh, just uh, give another color uh, very lightly uh, in the middle uh, so that I have this uh, gradient uh, better from dark to light now that I'm happy with my background I'm going to work on my focal points this is a chipboard uh, embellishment from uh, the darker arts the difference of it is it's very thin and it's flexible uh, so it doesn't uh, break uh, I love it it's uh, one of my favorites and uh, I'm going to uh, give you the link down below to their shop uh, it might be a little bit difficult to ship uh, internationally these days uh, but maybe uh, you can have a have a look if it's possible uh, and uh, I'm just uh, going to try to decide on my composition where I put these uh, flowers uh, as a frame and then I'm going to place uh, the rest of my flowers on this uh, frame but before I decided to color it with a dark blue color and uh, I took my uh, Arteza craft paint in sapphire blue this is not metallic it's normal mixed media paint but it has a very beautiful color and I also wanted to mix some metallics with non-metallic uh, matte paint uh, which will look nice I'm painting it uh, back and forth uh, so that uh, uh, on both sides so that the white uh, parts don't uh, spoil the look of my project remember I'm pretending uh, as if this is a gift uh, so I'm going to be uh, more more careful um, and uh, I decided to use this turquoise paint uh, which is metallic to go uh, over the uh, flowers uh, gently so that it also uh, has a shine while uh, protecting this darker blue color and it looks really nice I will show you in a second trying to catch on camera the shine it has and also the matte uh, part of the paint and these two colors go together very well and create a very nice effect which uh, I would love to have at the background so I use matte medium to stick uh, all these uh, embellishments uh, to prepare the ground for my flowers I took all these flowers from my stash and my uh, sisal fiber in uh, white which I love and use uh, in these 3d dimensional projects a lot because I think it gives a lot of uh, dimension and nice texture uh, at the back uh, these flowers are uh, the ones that I kept in my stash forever uh, I stopped buying flowers uh, because uh, 
I have a lot in my stash. I was very keen at some point and I collected a lot. Uh, these little uh, things, uh, uh, little roses, white flowers are very useful because you can also paint them uh, if you want uh, other color f uh, flowers. So uh, if you buy only a few, buy white uh, and uh, you can always paint them with uh, whatever color you want. Uh, and I had these uh, orange ones uh, from Bobani uh, again as I said ages ago uh, and uh, these green ones are from something else that I pushed in that package uh, and uh, I'm just uh, going to use them as well remember we have sage green at the background so it goes very well uh, with all these uh, colors uh, the reason I chose uh, orange, uh, like a dark orangey color, is uh, it makes a very nice contrast with blue, so they stand out very well. And I complemented the rest of it with uh, white and this very light mint uh, green. Uh, and uh, as you can see, it looks very nice and fresh. Uh, and I'm going to place the rest of my uh, chipboards. Uh, here and there where uh, it uh, seeps through uh, my flowers. I am not going to uh, lift all these items and then put them again. I'll just put matte medium at the back of them and I think they will stick nicely. Uh, so I don't need to do it all over again with this composition. I don't know if you saw but um, the Greek uh, houses uh, in the summer islands uh, are all white and blue uh, and uh, with the sea and everything it looks very fresh uh, and uh, this uh, frame reminded me of those houses because it's uh, white and blue and it looks very fresh, uh, fresh with all the movements and uh, these uh, blue colors uh, it just reminded me uh, of those uh, houses and I just wanted to travel to seaside and uh, you know have some summer uh, I miss it so much uh, I love summer I was born in uh, July in summer so I always prefer hot weather to cold winters uh, and now I'm going to uh, color the, uh, uh, the edges of the frame uh, I will use this matte color and show you how uh, beautiful the contrast will be. Uh, sapphire blue from Arteza. Uh, and you can uh, leave it as it is uh, with a matte blue. Uh, that will uh, make a nice contrast with the rest of the project as you see. Or you can, according to your taste of course, uh, as usual, you can add this turquoise color to add some sh shine as well. For the sake of showing you, I'm just uh, going to uh, paint a little bit with this turquoise as well uh, to add this shine on the edges. But if you ask me personally, I would have left it with the matte blue uh, easily uh, without uh, uh, the need to add uh, another uh, shiny turquoise uh, blue. But uh, it's both beautiful. And I'm going to do some splashes with this sapphire blue as well uh, to bring everything together. These splashes add uh, also uh, some movement, some energy. That's why I love them uh, a lot. And also of course I'm going to add some white splashes too. And I couldn't leave it alone uh, without adding some uh, stickles and uh, uh, some dimension too. I have stickles in uh, crystal color so it's uh, transparent and also Nouveau Glitter uh, Blue uh, in glitter drops uh, in uh, turquoise color and uh, dark blue color. So I'm just uh, filling the center of these flowers with these three colors to add some fun and uh, interest in the project as well. I love adding these details and I love these uh, stickles and uh, glitter drops. Uh, they are so much fun to use. Uh, as you see I cannot stop so I add the drops uh, here and there on the frame as well in a uh, crystal uh, color. So it's clear but it has gl glitter. And I will show you how it looks these uh, little dots uh, on camera when it's dry. Now that it's dry. 
and my uh, the center of the flowers and all the shine I have from the acrylic paints uh, and on these uh, chipboards are amazing and the oranges and whites uh, of the flowers make a really nice contrast here is all the shine that I have you can also check out the uh, pictures that I took uh, at the end of the video I hope you enjoyed this project if you did please don't forget to leave me a comment like or subscribe to, to my channel as usual also uh, follow me on Instagram if you're there as well because I'm uh, sharing uh, my new projects first in my stories there thanks so much for watching and see you next time